Hello, our dear football lovers! The Inside Football Channel is with you, and today we bring you a very touching clip from the match of the Portugal national team. As part of the group stage of the Nations League, Cristiano Ronaldo's side battered Switzerland with a score of 4 0. CR7 himself made a brace and strengthened his world record for goals at international level. Bear in mind that he already slotted 117 accurate shots. The main moment of that meeting, though, came with his tearful mother in the stands of the stadium. Two goals of beloved son totally impressed her and moved her to tears. It's impossible to look at these pictures without tenderness, isn't it? Press like if you agree with us. Dolores easily gets into emotions right in the stands during her son's performances. She is a very sensitive woman and experiences his achievements in all vividness. Ronaldo even forbade her to attend ties with him involved because of that alone. However, the woman always found ways to get the ban around, still continuing to attend the stadium, including times when the most important games in Cristiano's life took place. Now we are about to show you the most telling shots of Dolores from the stands, as there have been plenty of them over so many years of CR7's career path. But before that, we suggest you give this video your huge like and check the subscription to our initiative so as not to miss the latest videos. We're working hard just for you. Ready? Let's get going then! As we've already mentioned, Dolores Aveiro is too nervous when it comes to her son's performances. She is worried even for something ordinary, for example, a sealed goal. According to Ronaldo, sometimes his mother goes too far with emotions. She fainted twice during games and once collapsed on the floor so badly she even broke her tooth. What a horror! No one really couldn't help poor Dolores? No wonder why Ronaldo forbade his mother to watch him live, at least the matches which are highly important for him and his teams. Now she is not allowed to watch the great games. I have told her, I no longer have a father and I don't even want to lose my mother, so you won't be watching any matches for me in the quarterfinals, semifinals or finals," Ronaldo shared in an interview. Well, it was definitely possible to come and see the Nations League fixture. After all, not such a valuable game, not a major tournament final, but the group stage. And still, the Sun's brilliant display there moved Dolores to tears. At the matches of the beloved and native national team of Portugal, Dolores often decides not to hold back her true feelings. Here's how the woman wrote it for the navigators in the final of Euro 2016. We can't even imagine the whole spectrum of reactions she got that day. How Maria coped with her son's injury and the decisive strike in extras. The victory in the battle for reaching the World Cup final stage is a great reason to rejoice. Portugal did not disappoint the Lorosh back then. No tears. Sincere happiness only. Switzerland were beaten 2-0. And here we have her at the final of another international tournament, the Nations League final. Portugal managed to beat the Netherlands and take another trophy. Together with Dolores, Cristiano Jr. as well as Ron's girlfriends are often present at the stands. For example, in the early 2010s, Maria was sitting in the box with her grandson and model Irina Sheik, who was dating her son at that time. After breaking up with Sheik, the new passion of CR7, Georgina Rodriguez, began to be another special guest in the stands next to Ronaldo's mother. Before Cristiano's ban, Maria did not miss any of her son's crucial moments and even took to the pitch when he got another trophy. Here's an archive footage from England. Cristiano's mom celebrates Manchester United's triumph in the Premier League. Have a look at how the Laura Chaveiro celebrated Real Madrid and her son's Champions League Cup win. Another successful result, the second in a row. There was a victory over Juventus with Cristiano's brace set up at Cardiff. Los Blancos surely had a golden time under Zinedine Zidane. In 2018, Dolores also witnessed the Champions League final, where Real Madrid defeated Liverpool. Here, she is walking along the pitch of the Olympijski Stadium in Kiev. Dolores has her son's gold medal. For Ronaldo, it was still worth taking his mom to the great final. After a while, CR7 moved to Juventus, where Dolores could not miss the decisive games too. She supported Ron with family in the stands, then entered the pitch, rejoiced with her son and took pictures with Scudetto. 
By the way, Dolores comes to see not only Cristiano in action. She often visits Lisbon and meetings of her favorite team. As we all know, Ronaldo's mother is a supporter of sporting. Here she is, during their clash against Benfica for the Portuguese Super Cup in the summer of 2019. An avid cheerleader and caring mother. This is the description of Maria Dolores Chaveiro, who tries to support her son as much as possible in the most crucial and important moments of his professional career, even if he decides to prohibit her to come to the stadium. Hopefully last time Dolores was not that nervous, so she will be able to witness more Cristiano's performances and root for him. She's the main and most devoted fan after all. The support of loved ones, and in particular, the dearest person, definitely helps Ronaldo to show his best. We hope you enjoyed our video. Give us a like if you do want to see Cristiano play live. Alright, this was Inside Football. We watch football from a different angle. Have a nice one and see you in a bit.